there. Today I'm going to share how I make a background for a card that I'm making for polka doodles. And in this case, I'm using Little Monsters Collection set of poly polymer stamps. Polymer? Clear polymer. I still don't think that sounds right in my head. Anyway, I'm doing a slimline card. This paper is from the Little Monsters Collection Digi Pack. I will put those links in down below. And then another layer will be going here. So I've chosen these colors here. See if we can get kind of a galaxy background happening. Or a little spacey anyway. One of the things that I like about Distress Oxide inks is the fact that you don't have to wait very long for anything to dry. I haven't used them a whole ton, so if this works out, that just kind of goes to show how you can easily adapt for yourself. There is key in getting to use in the right paper, but I've been experimenting for a little bit, and I will also link what kind of paper I'm using. Because I'm so new at this, I don't remember those kinds of names yet, but I can tell you what color any Copic is without looking at it. You probably have your things too. As any of my friends knew, and you will find, I absolutely hate getting ink on my fingers. I seriously thought about grabbing a pair of rubber gloves to use while I was doing this. Ah, nah, don't sissy out. So today I may get some ink going and oh well, but I do have my cloth because, oh, I'm kind of a neat freak. This kind of reminds me of that popsicle that we used to have when we were kids. I can't remember what that's called either. They were good. Another thing I like about the Distress Inks is how they blend into each color. Almost seamlessly in some cases. Not quite muddy. If you pick the wrong colors, yep, you're gonna get some mud. See, I know it's minor. Kind of wanted more sky than what that purple is. Now here comes a little bit of a messy part. Got my gesso, black and white. These two products. And I'm gonna do some splatters. This is probably where, where I really wish that I had my gloves. If anybody's got any better tips on the way that I'm doing this, I am free for you to put them in the comments below because this is kind of a new thing for me and I managed to get a mess everywhere. Sometimes I even find it on the other side of the room. Oops. Turning out so cute. Okay, maybe one more here. Now I'm going to make black. I think I just want light spritzes, not big clumps. Well, I guess you get, you get what you get by the time you're done.
Okay, well, it's messy, but it's super cute. Okay, now my personal favorite, adding the glitter. It doesn't look like much in here, but once you get it on, oh, it's pretty. So pretty. Oh, I love that. see it so well so I will hold it up to the camera in just a second here I'm one of those people that glitter too much there's no such thing that's a crazy talk so can you see that shine I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to tell. Ooh, cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna let this dry and then carry on with my project. I hope you like that. Maybe you'll give it a try too. Next time, I might wear gloves. We'll see. <laughs>